While we're waiting for Overflow to finish seating and once I get a thumbs up that they are, we can get started. Um, I do want to share a story today that I wanted to share as I was driving in early this morning to come to the convention. I was coming up from the south and I was coming up Crow Child Trail and uh, I saw that there was a car accident on Crow Child Trail. Nobody was hurt fortunately, um, but it looked pretty rough and the people who were in the cars, I assume that crashed, were sitting on the side and waiting for the police to come. And there was a vehicle that was unharmed, obviously the witness, that went to show support, make sure the people were okay. And the people that were in the unharmed car were totally cosplayers and totally from Odafest. It was so heartwarming and I love you all so much. Um, it just really warmed my heart and reminded me about why Odafest so amazing it's because each and every one of us I bet would have stopped and helped them out so I love you all so much and we'll get started really soon okay while we're in storytelling time uh, my uh, my little brother is a Red Seal chef and he works at a restaurant in the city called Salt Lake and apparently, Saturday night, last night, he was having a really rough night in the kitchen, you know. Everything was just going to, uh, you know where, and back. And uh, all of a sudden, one of the servers comes back in, into the kitchen, and she's like, oh my gosh, there's a table of like 30 people wearing really crazy outfits out in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother's like, hey, what? He goes around, out of the kitchen, around the corner, and look, and it's, 30 tables of just cosplayers with fantastic costumes. And it put the smile on his face and he got through the rest of the day. So I don't know who went to Salt Lake restaurant last night. I thank you because he was having a really rough night. So there we go. Okay, speaking of Odafest stories, this is my last one and it's really short, but my favorite thing about Odafest, other than all the amazing people and luckily the weather that mostly held out, is the look on every single volleyball girl's face, every single man. I don't know about you, but I definitely was not athletic in high school, so I was like, suck on that. <laughs> Volleyball girls who are patrons, please. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For those of you that are, thank you for breaking the mold, and I love you too. Hi, everybody. Um, I think pretty much by now everybody knows who I am. I'm Brendan. I'm the cosmetic and emergency guy. Um, thank you. <laughs> in, in my profession. Um, there's a saying that, that kind of goes with the supervisor, I'm a superintendent now, um, when I can well go home and say nobody died on my watch. And thankfully, Odafest isn't a big risk for that. Um, but everybody was awesome. It was, uh, the better, the, the more coffee I drink in a weekend, the better it is for everybody. Um, I drink a lot of coffee. So thanks everybody for being safe and just being so wonderful. Okay, I think we're almost ready to get started, but before we get started into our formal agenda, I want to give a shout out to um, actually one of our vendors and friends and partners um, from Anna Modeling Zone, Tommy. Uh, he gave us an awesome prize to give out to you folks, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, if you went to his booth and spent XYZ amount of money, you got to enter into a PS4 draw, so um, that's cool. We're going to draw it. Thanks, Anna Modeling Zone. Uh, Seth? You do not have to be present to win, so we'll contact the winner if you are not here or in overflow. Kevin Zinger? Awesome, okay, well, we'll call you Kevin. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> We love Tommy. He's the best. 